What is up you guys? I am back with another Yamaha C3 scooter video. I have had this thing apart now uh, about four or five times since I initially started with the Dr. Pulley slider weights. Now this time I actually tried a four gram and I was flying down the road. Had a lot of freaking throttle like whoom, like that. Didn't hurt my top speed. Now I'll say I matched these with a um, Poloni, or I forgot the name of it, but I bought an upgraded variator and it ran like a champ. Now I got the 4.5 gram weights in the same order when I bought all this stuff. So naturally I wanted to try the 4.5 grams, even though I was pretty much totally satisfied with what 4 gram was giving me. It was really in beast mode, but the 4.5 grams ran really good. Like I would almost say that they ran better in almost a lot of categories the RPMs weren't revving as high, so you didn't really feel like you were going as fast. But when I was checking the numbers from the videos, it's really not bad. Um, now, the last thing that I'm going to actually try is, I, and I feel like I'm going to take a 3 of the 4.5 and 3 of the 4s to make a 4.25 weighting. So they'll be side by side in the va variator. So what I'm going to try is the 4.25 combination. So uh, basically I'm going to drive to Aldi's supermarket here. And instead of just going to a place where I could get a speed run and, you know, flat out throttle, I'm just going to kind of show what the 4.25 does speed wise, throttle wise, hill climbing hill wise. Um, so you can see kind of real time. Now, like I say, the four grams, the only really thing about the four grams, it was really so jumpy at the beginning that if you were trying to get it through a doorway, it almost gets kind of loose. Like, okay, you might just, because you have to kind of get it and just look. And so that's where the 4.5 is a little smoother. And, but they're both really, really close. I would just say it's a little, well, about hit this guy. Um, the fours just have a little more vibrations, I believe, with the higher RPM, and so you feel like you're going faster even though you may not be. So right here, we're at a little bit of an incline, and I'm getting up to 40 and climbing, so it's not like I'm, I'm not holding a speed. It's steadily getting a little better. Um, well, once I get to the top of the hill, basically East Tennessee where I live, you're either going uphill or downhill to some degree. And I'll tell you guys though, once I removed the, var the variator washer or restrictor washer, I removed the screen from my air filter, the metal screen. I put the Poloni variator in, which I think was a huge upgrade. And then I changed to the Dr. Pulley sliders. And it has actually become like a, I didn't think that I could get it to run this good. So I'm like more than happy. Um, I feel like anything over 45 mile an hour is like, you know, mega bonus. And this thing um, can get 45 on pretty much a straightaway. Now, once you get moving downhill, which you guys will see later on, um, with this weight configuration, I can still hit a pretty high speed. So basically here, well, let's take a look at this. Um, I'm going uphill a little, but I'm still gaining speed. Throttle's still trying to give it. You know, it's still... Now, it may be a little quieter with the 4.5s here. But don't let the quietness fool you. Those 4.5s will run. But right here, I'm still kind of gaining speed. So I feel like in the city, even on these hills, nobody... I mean, there's always assholes on the road, but I feel like they're going to cut me a break. I'm going fast enough to hang. And I also think this Yamaha C3 scooter has a certain look to it. It's not the type of like scooter where you look like you're trying to haul ass. It's a very kind of conservative, almost like something you'd see in some kind of weird movie. Um, but anyway, so if you're kind of looking at the video, you'll see lots of hills. I mean, I'm going up or down. Like here, we're going to be going downhill. And... Luckily for me, where I live, there's not a lot of two-lane roads as far as you're heading on with traffic. So you can pretty much, you know, I kind of hang in the, over to the side of the right, slow lanes. Now, of course, I'm not here, but 
here I'm not full throttle. I'm just kind of cruising. But um, so there's always kind of room for you and your scooter, at least in my town. I've been able to go miles and miles. Like I've been, when I first got the scooter, I didn't see myself stretching out as far as I have. Listen to that. That's full throttle. Um, but there's parts of me, I've tinkered with the weight so much that 4.5, I don't know. Something about that 4.5. Although I'm not taking that cover off again. I'm leaving this. I'm going to let these things break in and see what this 4.25 can give me. Now, so right here is kind of uh, lots of stoplights. You guys will see, but this is called Kingston Pike. This actual road goes from campus all the way west for miles and miles like i'd say freaking at least 15 miles and it's nothing but like although you'll see a few houses right here it's going to be like dealerships restaurants bars you go about three blocks and then you see another series like mcdonald's hardy's wendy's you go another three blocks mcdardy's hardy's wendy's so here look at this 46 47 Now, I think with the four fives, I would hit 48. Can even hit 49, I think. I have hit 48 going major downhill with the four two fives. But hanging at four six, four five, with that little bit of oomph in the beginning. Now, I'll say this. When I first got the scooter, I went out on it. And I didn't realize, like, the wind, once you hit, like, 35 miles an hour, the wind becomes a whole new animal. I mean, I've ridden bikes and cycle. I've been, like, on regular pedal bikes. But the wind was like, okay, this is, when it's really windy out, I was kind of like, holy shit. So immediately the windshield, which I love this little windshield. I highly recommend it. It hasn't come loose. I mean, it, it's a pretty awesome little windshield. It's not too big. It kind of fits the scooter. And then, um... So the wind was kicking my ass, and when it was a little bit cooler when I bought it, yeah, you definitely can feel like chill, wind, but right now it's summer, or springtime, and even when it was 85, if you're stuck in traffic, the sun, I can already tell, is going to kick your ass, like, so wearing full gear in the summer could be brutal. Um, right now I've got a light black jacket, motorcycle thing. Rev, rev it or something full face helmet um, scooter gets a hundred miles a gallon so right now gas is up the ass five bucks but I'm getting a hundred miles and I probably could get more but I just fill it at a hundred and um, this this little scooter has like super storage capacity and like I say in the stop and go downtown like I'm out west but if I go downtown you don't really have time to go open up so as long as you can kind of hang at that 35, 40, um, not a lot of hills, you'll be ready to rock on this little scooter. And I think the upgrades, I think I paid like 85 for the Poloni Variator. And I didn't get knock off Dr. Pulley, so I spent all together, because I got the five grams for the regular Variator, which I did a test on. So I've spent like 60 bucks. So like 150 I spent to gain like at least at least eight ten mile an hour and uh, so this is like a basic run but like I say I get out this little scooter has has made it so fun to get out and do stuff that I normally would just be sitting around the house don't want to get in my car sitting in traffic it's like I, I'm on the scooter all the time I'm, I'm going places doing stuff people do love it too man I haven't had anybody like uh be a dickhead everybody's like thumbs up chicks and whistle at me I mean they're being corny but it gets you know it's a positive I think it's a positive happy little deal and hopefully no one will steal it but anyway I'm here at Aldi and uh yeah peace out everybody